Hi, this is Tax Lady Katie with Tax Offices, and you're definitely going to want to check this out. Can you make the IRS pay for part of your travel expenses, even if it's a fancy trip somewhere? Most business owners know that you can take tax deductions for business-related travel expenses, but what does this really mean and how will the government pay for it? We are talking about a tax-deductible expense also called write-offs. First, the important thing to understand is what does it actually mean to have tax deductions and what do tax write-offs really do for me? If you're not a business owner, then you don't really get this benefit. This just doesn't apply to you. But if you own a business or are self-employed, this is your playground. And the answer to both those questions is simple. If you're making money from your business, like in a legitimate above board business, then you're paying some sort of tax. You're probably paying income tax, but also you may have some corporate or self-employment tax too. Here's what I mean. Let's say that you make just under $100,000 and your income tax rate is 22% of your net income. That's about right. Keep in mind that the more you make, that tax rate can be even higher. But for this example, let's just keep it there. Maybe you don't realize, but you also pay self-employment tax or a combined social security tax about 15.3%. Yes, another 15.3% for social security. If you didn't know, now you know. So your overall total federal taxes is around 37.5% of your profits. Plus, depending on your state, there may also be state tax too. In Illinois, that rate is around 5%. That combined federal and state tax bill is over 42%, which means about $42,000 total tax for every $100,000 guy. So if you ever wondered where did the money go, you can see it better with this example I just gave. But here's the part you're really going to need to know. Now, suppose that our guy needs to travel for a business and a personal reason. For this trip to get a full write-off, the primary purpose of travel must be an ordinary and necessary business purpose. So as a business owner, our guy will make certain that his travel fits that primarily business purpose. Now think about this. Suppose that travel costs $3,000. I know you're thinking, a $3,000 trip? But yeah, a longer trip might cost that much and maybe even more. Okay, great. Our guy takes a tax write-off of $3,000, but he still spent $3,000. The trip was nice, but that $3,000 is gone. But the good part is that of that $3,000 expense, our friend will avoid 42.5% of tax. In this guy's case, that trip really only cost him $1,775, not that $3,000. And that is because they avoided the $1,225 in tax, which helped to finance the trip. That's the way it works. So now that you understand how it works, watch the next video to see a list of travel expenses that the IRS allow you to reduce your taxes with. So I hope that was helpful. And if you like this video, go like some of my other videos. Like, subscribe. Thanks for watching.